Dozens of emotional friends and relatives gathered to play around 26-year-old El Haji Sisi outside a mosque near his house on June 5th. While a cautious calm returned to Dakar on Monday, after days of clashes, at least 16 people were killed in the violence and hundreds injured. Sisi's brother said he was walking home on June 2nd evening when he was shot in the shoulder. El Haji was not a demonstrator. He was a good patriot. He was interested in everything that was happening in the country. He went to pray, but when he came back, they threw tear gas. He stepped aside to avoid the grenades. Then the gentlemen were there and they shot said Jimbala Ba, his brother. The AP cannot, cannot independently verify how Sisi was killed. However, demonstrators have reported the use of live bullets. Sisi was rushed to hospital but died minutes later. He was about to study abroad in Canada, said his family. In a procession of motorbikes, buses and cars, his loved ones accompanied him to his final resting place. Very sad, Sisi's friend Malik Lamens said. Very, very sad because the loss of human lives is starting to become serious for politics, for things that really aren't worth it. We are seriously asking the state of Senegal and all those involved to reconsider what is happening. An alarmist shook Senegal between June 1st and 3rd after security forces clashed with the supporters of opposition leader Osman Sonko. Police have arrested 500 people. The deadly clashes first broke out after the leader was convicted of corruption, uh, of corrupting youth, but acquitted on charges of raping a human who worked at a massage parlor and making death threats against her. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.